Christmas Homecoming is the penultimate Hallmark film that I have to watch this year and the last Hallmark Christmas film that is currently available on the Hallmark channel on Amazon Prime UK. And I have to say, for the final Hallmark Christmas that I'm watching this year, it was very good. There were problems with it, but for the most part I enjoyed it, so I'm not going to go into any spoilers. The description from IMDb is as follows. A widow of a war hero takes in an injured soldier who has just returned from Afghanistan. Together they help each other heal and find true love. Straight away that's going to affect a lot of people because there are obviously there are loved ones who are currently in you know, Afghanistan or anywhere else fighting in the war or as part of the army. So I think it's I don't have that fear of losing a loved one to this war. But I still found it very emotional and I did well up and I may have shed one or two tears. It was released in 2017 and directed by Paul A. Kaufman. It stars Julie Benz as our protagonist Amanda and Michael Shanks as Master Sergeant Jim Mullins. And I have to say he's brilliant. It's the typical Hallmark blueprint of Two single people meet and there are obstacles in their path that mean they can't be together and then it's a whole will they, won't they, we kind of know what's going to happen but let's keep on guessing anyway scenario. But I like the way in which they met when Sergeant Mullins goes to Amanda's house to rent an apartment at the back of her building and I think that's a nice way for them to meet and it's, well I guess straight away it introduces us to Jim and I liked him a lot. I I thought he was a brilliant protagonist, one of my favourite Hallmark male leads. His character was very likeable, very emotional, um, very fascinating. He didn't reveal everything about himself to begin with. We had to chip away at the ice quite a lot but the more we learned the more I liked. As for Amanda, I feel like she was wholly undeveloped there wasn't really anything to her that made her interesting. She had a little bit of a backstory that could have given her an emotional edge. But to be honest, I didn't really feel any emotions for her. Obviously, I felt naturally a little bit upset at what had happened. But when I was watching it, at no point did I kind of want her to have a change of heart about the way she saw things. I didn't want any harm to come to her, I just didn't care. But obviously I wanted her to treat Jim right, and vice versa. So the characters are kind of 50-50. Some are good, some needed really a little bit more work. We have other characters in here who kind of help bulk it out. I actually feel like I liked a lot more of the supporting characters than I did Amanda. I just thought she was, as I said, really undeveloped and not that interesting and she really could have been a lot more. But then I don't care because I feel like Jim was so interesting and so fascinating that he really carried the weight and I have no complaints with him at all. So the narrative, very interesting. I like the pacing, I like the progression of it. I like that it held back quite a bit of suspense. It didn't just give us all of the information and then let us watch as the obstacles were overcome. It actually brought up new emotions as, as the film went on. I did watch um, Operation Christmas a couple of days ago, which is another Hallmark film um, about a soldier. And as much as I shouldn't compare the two, they're obviously quite similar and I have to say I preferred this one I think it, it's you know it's narrow it's a close call but I think I preferred Christmas Homecoming it's a nice story Jim is a great character it's quite festive they do some festive things it's not the most festive film I've ever seen but I think it's one you'll enjoy <laughs>